All right, the zombie isn't looking too bad. I don't think this is that far off from the original. All I did for the cone zombie was give it a cone. It's time to work on the plants now, starting with the pea shooter. For the pea shooter, I started with the head, then the stem, and finished off by adding some leaves for the base. Not bad, not bad. I think that's reasonable. All right, let's work on the sunflower now. So we'll start off with the head. Then I messed around with the stem and leaves until I got something I was satisfied with. I'm pretty proud of this one. All right, it's time for my personal favorite plant, the walnut. I mean, just look at it. Anyways, I started off with an outline of the shape and then I added some shading and gave him a pair of eyes. Yo, <laughs> I kind of like that. And we put his little mouth right there. That's perfect. I mean, that's identical to this one. Now for the cherry bomb. Let's start off with the two balls. One's like a little bit bigger than the other one. Like you see the left, the left cherry ball is bigger than the right ball. Kind of similar to what I got going on. So I adjusted the shape of the right ball, then continued to add the stems and leaves. Finally, I added some shading and gave them individual faces. Time for the sun. I mean, this is, this is pretty simple. This was actually pretty difficult, but after a couple of iterations, I got it. It's not that bad. So, and I think it kind of resembles it from a distance at least. So I think it'll do. The lawnmower is definitely gonna be pretty hard to replicate. Yeah, this one was definitely tough in the small space, but eventually it worked out. At first glance, it might not look like a lawnmower, but when you really like think about it, it kind of does look like a lawnmower. All right, now for the last sprite I need, which is the fence at the top of the level. And it ended up being pretty easy to make. All right, there's the fence. There's all the sprites complete. So now it's time to start working on the game. The first thing I did was design the level with the tiles I made earlier, which didn't take too long. Okay, I got this code from a tutorial and we should be able to drag these sprites around. All right. There we go, there we go, it's working. But there's one big problem. You see, in Plants vs. Zombies, whenever you place a plant, it will snap onto that point of the grid. Now, I had zero clue as to how I would be able to do this, but that didn't stop me from trying. Okay, so I've been working on this drag system for quite a while now, and I'm going to test it. Hopefully, it works. So we have these little dots which is where you can drag them onto. But this is what happened when I dragged them on top of each other. Oh, that happens. And then we drag this one on. Let's go. Okay, come on. Does it go into that one? Nice, dude. Let's go. Okay, we can officially drag and drop plants. So I'm going to mark that as complete. Now we need to make it so that the pea shooter can shoot. They're spawning in the bottom left corner of the screen. That's not what I'm going for. I want it to spawn where his nose is. Now it should work. There we go, there we go. The projectiles are moving kind of slowly though, so I sped them up. Yeah, that's pretty good, that's pretty good, that's pretty good, that's pretty good. Okay, now we're done with the pea shooter being able to shoot, so it's time to switch gears to the sunflower being able to drop sun. When I hover over the sun, it should disappear and give us 25 sun. So for the cherry bomb explosion, it's just going to be so that any zombies in the radius of the explosion will get affected and will therefore be damaged. So I wrote all of the necessary code and set up the collider for the radius of the explosion. I also made the explosion particles. The cherry bomb should be working. Yeah, every time I placed it, my game would just crash, but I was able to fix it up and boom, it explodes. With the cherry bombs out of the way, it's time to spawn zombies. I finished making the logic for the zombie and I got the zombie spawner all coded out. All right, so I'm gonna test it now to see if it's working. I'm not seeing any zombies yet. That's not good. Okay, there's a zombie. What if I place this right here? Just walks through it, just walks through it. I thought they had rigid bodies. The problem is though, they don't have a box collider. Oh my gosh, dude, let me tell you, this box collider helped so much. Wanna place a pea shooter right here? Oh, it's not shooting it, so that's a problem. Does this kill them? <laughs> no. <laughs> Place that there. It should block him. It doesn't block him, dude. What the heck is going on? The real problem was that I wasn't moving the zombie with his rigid body, but after I changed it around, everything worked perfectly. It's working. Let's go. I followed this by making the plants actually able to kill the zombies and vice versa. Okay, now we're working on the lawnmowers. So I placed all of the lawnmowers, gave them some code, and then tested everything out. All right, here we go. Time for the moment of truth. Nice. Nice, nice. Oh, we're gonna get a triple kill there. Dude, dude. That was insane. Clip that. Okay, now we're working on the suns falling from the sky. You know the drill. I wrote some code and then everything magically worked. My next mission was to make the whole shop system where you can buy plants using sun and have there be a cooldown between purchases. Wait, why can't I? Oh God, no, why, why is it crashing? No, no, man. 
All right, like two hours later, I finally got it working. After this, the gameplay was complete, so I made a menu and added sound effects. Alrighty guys, thanks for watching. You can play the game for free in your browser. There will be a link in the description. Make sure to like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.